better. Because our community has things that we could use work on. And Shabbat is definitely one of them. Because yes, there's a lot of people that keep Shabbat. But how do you keep Shabbat? What's the story with electronics in your home? What's the story with when the light is on and you wanted it off in the closet? Do you come up with some elbow that you just created, that some hair tear that you found that's not in any book other than yours? How about when you're away and in a hotel that has, and the floor you're on is floor number 36. How do you do that? How about people that don't do anything themselves, but they'll tell the housekeeper to do whatever they want, anytime they want. How about people that still haven't been able to let go of having the television on, even though they don't touch the remote, television on on Shabbat. It's 2023. Our community has been advancing. Everybody had their TV on 40 years ago. Many people don't anymore, and the test is not even so hard anymore. Because most people don't even watch TV on Tuesday. TV is not such a thing. The only person who it's a major temptation for is a crazy sports fan on a big playoff game. Anything else? You could, I don't know, pause it, hold it, record it, you could figure it out. But even those of us that don't touch electronics, that don't tell anyone to do electronics, do we know the meticulous laws? Do we know what's allowed to go back on the pot and what's not allowed to go back on the pot? What goes on the block, what doesn't go on the block? Do we know what is bored, what is not bored? Do we know when we're allowed to clean our garment and when we're not allowed to clean our garment? Do we know the nuances of the laws? Do we know what we're allowed to touch or move and what we're not allowed to touch or move? And it doesn't go by, I want it to move, so I'm going to move it, or I don't care, so I won't move it. It goes by real laws. And there are many people in this community and around the world that are joining classes specifically to work on their Shabbat observance. The most religious and the least religious. Everyone has room to grow on Shabbat because Shabbat is so detailed that it requires so much work. If we are people with our eyes open, then we see Hashem clearly sending a message. Not a reason, just a message. And if we could see that message, our job is to open our eyes.